Today, we're going to be opening up Pokemon cards from StockX to see if they're legit. Crown Zenith was the pick for the video, and here's the three chase cards from the set. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually pull one in today's video. And for our monthly giveaway, we'll be giving away one box of Twilight Masquerade at the end of the month, so make sure to watch all the way through for details on how you can enter. We're back at it with some more Crown Zenith, but with a twist, we went ahead and purchased this one from StockX. On the box itself, it does have this authenticated sticker on it, and that's pretty much the only difference from a regular ETB. Looks like it's still pretty much sealed the same, so let's just go ahead and inspect it to make sure nothing looks sketchy or so. I've heard a couple reviews, but we're going to put it today to the test. Let's go ahead and crack it open and see what's inside. There was no issues with the outside of the box, but let's go through everything inside of here to make sure we still have everything that's inside an ETB. Here's that beautiful Lucario VMAX promo card. Can't get enough of that and looks like it's still sealed as well. As we keep looking, we do have our card dividers in here as well. Double sided, so you have your red and your blue. Next inside the box, we have ourselves our damage counters, I believe. I've actually opened up a ton of ETBs and I still don't know what to do with the rest of these. So let me know down in the comments what you think I should do with them. There's your TCG card or code card. So if you are gonna be using that, make sure and let me know in the comments if it's still valid. There we also have our sleeves. Digging deep into here, we then have our dice with our V-Star marker. So it looks like everything is pretty much in here. We have the packs themselves right here as well. It looks like everything that we needed to get from an ETB is inside the ETB itself. This is my first time ever actually purchasing from StockX, so just want to go ahead and verify it and go through my experience with each and every single one of you. Looks like all the packs are there, so let's go ahead and open it right up. With pack number one, let's just inspect the sides. Looks like everything is sealed properly on that side. On this side as well, we're not going to do it with every single pack, but I just wanted to go ahead and do it for the first one just to make sure we don't notice anything sketchy. If you have actually purchased from StockX before, make sure to let me know down in the comments what you ordered and also how it went. Let's go ahead and see if possibly, looks like everything is legit, but let's see if we possibly even have better pull rates or better hit rates with StockX. Starting off with the first one, we have ourselves a Fire Energy, a Luxio going into a Crushing Hammer, and then an Ultra Ball, a Wooloo rolling right over, a Shinx, a Pancham, and then a Snorunt going into a Rock Ruff, and looks like nothing in the first slot right there, and we don't pull anything on our first pack. Unlucky start, but hopefully we can turn things around with pack number two. Now, as many of you know, Crown Zenith was actually the very last set in the Sword and Shield era. Personally, I would have to say this is my favorite set from the Sword and Shield era as well. It is right up there with any of the other sets such as Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, name any set and I would say it's pretty much up there. Now, a lot of you might disagree with me, of course, but let me know down in the comments what's your favorite set from the Sword and Shield era. I'm curious to see what everybody thinks and just to see what you like from the previous era itself. The reason why I would say it's my favorite is for a couple reasons. First one being is the updated pull rates. You can pretty much pick up an ETB or even a couple packs and you're almost guaranteed to get a couple hits from it itself. And every single card, uh, probably not every single card, but most of the cards within the set itself there's 73 cards in the Galarian Gallery, and a lot of those have so many beautiful artworks that any of those cards you'd almost be happy pulling. Also, at the moment, this set currently goes for just under retail. It's slowly going up little by little, but it's just under retail, meaning you can pick up a box of this. They don't have booster boxes, sadly, but they do have a lot of ETBs, and wait a moment, looks like we finally get our first hit. We get ourselves a V-Star, so it's not a huge hit, but we'll go ahead and take it. But going back to Crown Zenith, you can pick yourself up some sets, whether it's from collection boxes or an ETB itself, and everything is just under retail, um, so you don't have to spend a bunch of money and then end up pulling nothing at all. That's one downside with like Evolving Skies or other sets like that, is that booster boxes are skyrocketed right now. They're going for extreme amounts, and then your chances of pulling the top cards in the set are almost low to none, or it's extremely low. So, oh, there we go. We get ourselves another hit. So there we go, back-to-back -back packs, and we get ourselves a hit. And right behind here, we get ourselves a V card. Not the best card, of course, to pull, but it is considered a hit still. So with a lot of the other sets within this era itself, there's a tons of beautiful chase cards, so don't get me wrong on that. But the thing is that you are gonna end up spending a lot of money if you wanna keep on opening packs and pulling the cards you wanna get. And then most of the time, you're not gonna end up pulling anything at all. With Crown Zenith right now, I believe it's going for a low amount just because it is relatively still one of the newer sets, I guess you can say, at least from like the modern era. And it's still in print, I believe. But I do with, oh, let's go. We get ourselves a full art 
rocks and card i don't have this one yet and what a great card to go ahead and pull behind here we don't get nothing so you can get double hitters as well but we don't get it there i do expect the same thing to happen to this set as what happened to cosmic eclipse when cosmic eclipse was still in print the set was kind of going right around retail um, it wasn't getting resold for like high amounts or anything like that i believe but then as the years went by people started realizing how many beautiful cards were in that set and you can pull and the price of it started skyrocketing a whole bunch so that's what i would expect to happen with this set right here but let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below let's see if we can actually keep on pulling hits because i think we're going three for three in the last three packs looks like we don't get nothing there and behind it we get a nice hollow card so it's not of course a card you want to go ahead and pull um, but it's a nice hollow since hollows are not guaranteed within this era itself but since we are discussing a lot of the sets and a lot of the modern sets the question of the video or the question of the day will be what is your favorite modern set now by modern set this can include any set the scarlet and violet era or any set even from the sword and shield era we'll cut it off there from gen 9 and gen 8 so let me know down in the comments what's your favorite set currently at the moment as we go into this one hopefully we can go ahead and get ourselves one of those gold cards because those are the top cards in the set i've only pulled a diago so far so i'm still hunting a couple others looks like we don't get it here but we still have a handful of packs to go for so we still have a couple chances to go ahead and try and pull one of those top cards in the set itself so far from this opening up some stock x pokemon cards i would say if you're going to be opening up some modern sets or collection boxes this would probably be a good way to go with if you don't have like a local tcg store or so or like a local hobby shop or so nearby i would always recommend to go support your local businesses and go ahead and purchase those there because you can probably get it for the same price now with stock x the nice thing about it is that it shows you the price ups and downs meaning that it tells you how much people are currently selling the current product for and how much people are currently offering for it so you can sometimes get some pretty good steals with the price chart or the price graph that it gives you so this is a pretty nice way to go with if you're going to be buying modern pokemon sets but if you're buying older sets or more high-end products um pretty much i would say go through a trusted reseller or like a trusted store online place or even to like a convention center or so and purchase those in person just because with StockX, it does get sent over to a factory or so or like a warehouse let's go we get ourselves a hit a manaphy beautiful artwork on that card right there but StockX does pretty much verify that sticker all it pretty much means is that it got sent over to a warehouse where they verify the product itself make sure it hasn't been opened up and then they go ahead and send it over to you now with scammers and everything they are getting a lot more creative and they're getting a lot more smarter as well so there has been a couple cases where StockX has verified a pack or so or a product that was actually tampered with um, or was resealed but so that's why i would say if it's higher end products buy them in person or buy someone you trust if it's something that you're not taking too high or much of a risk on then just go ahead and purchase from StockX if you wish final pack of the video so let's go over the giveaway details if you want to enter our monthly giveaway all you need to do is just make sure you drop a like on this video or any video uploaded in the month of may make sure you are subscribed and also make sure you drop a comment last pack and looks like we don't pull anything Here's a recap of all the cards that we pulled from this ETB. Seems like this ETB was very legit and we got a handful of cards to go ahead and pull from it. Here's a recap going on. Once again with the giveaway, if you want to automatically be entered, make sure to take those steps in order to enter the giveaway. I will then be announcing the winner in the first video that is uploaded in the month of June. Now the winner for actually the month of April is going to be pinned down in the comments below. So make sure to check that out to see if you won check out one of these two videos if you're enjoying the content and I'll catch you on the next one.